Okay. All right. My man, Carlos. Salute. Here we go, kid. Salute, Papa. Salute, brother. Cheers. I'm doing the little American thing today. What I'm you doing? doing? Vodka thing. A little vodka. Vodka. vodka, vodka, vodka. vodka. Yente, straight, huh? though. Straight. I keep it straight, though. Shit. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a... Uh, someone Someone sent a... Uh, a message, you know, a YouTube, one of, and they said, check out this guy, Gianni Russo and, yeah. and, Pablo, and Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Um, and, and I look, I'm, I've never, never even heard of fucking this guy anyway. I've well, heard of the last name, but you Russo know, is a common Italian last friend, name. Yeah. The story this motherfucker tells. He's crazy. Has so many fucking, has so many holes in it. And he's got these people fucking snow job, except. Michael Francis. Michael Francis ain't buying he caught it. On. He caught on. Michael Francis, he caught on to that one. This guy's full of shit across the totally. board. Totally. What did he say? That he got into he, a he, he, a yeah, yeah, he owned a bar. He owned a bar, a casino, a restaurant. I don't know what it was. Okay. And then and in, in, in Vegas. In Vegas, right? And right. then there was there was this dude, um, this Cuban dude, Mario from Mario Boatlift. Okay. Okay. Cuban dude with a chick. That knew a friend of his, a girlfriend of his that was that went to UNLV, that he paid for her, her university and all this stuff. And at the bar, at the bar, he sees the guy arguing with the girl, he breaks a bottle. Oh, first of all, they some they told him that um that the guy was a five star, five star guy. So they send them um all kinds uh, of Chris, all kinds of shit, crystal, this and all that shit, giving him, giving him, you know. Uh, all the daps. Then all of a sudden he starts arguing with the girl, whatever, you know, uh, uh, holding holding on to her or something. He said there was an argument. Right. And then he breaks the bottle and he slices the girl. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Then they, they see this and then, you know, supposedly he comes over. He comes over to the to the guy. Leave the girl, let the girl go. You need to go. The police coming. And the, the guy was all drunk talking Cuban like you know who the fuck you and this and all you know they went at it and all that and then he was he was trying to play you know nice guy believe and all this stuff and then the guy he didn't notice that the guy had another piece of the bottle and that he he sliced them on his chin they had 80 80 um stitches. 80 stitches okay on his chin and then that he says that even with all that he was still trying to be nice and you know tell hey you just you know you just messed up my I don't know how much how much money shirt. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He, he, had two derringers. he had two derringers on him. Okay. So that, <laughs> and that um I love this shit. When, when he got when he got close enough to the guy, he put two in him in his head. Boom, boom. You know? Killed him. Okay. Yeah, I killed him. And then so so just happens that I don't know who I forgot the rest of the story. So somebody who somebody called him and told him that, you know, hey, what did you just do? You know what I'm saying? That dude was a lieutenant for somebody important. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. He's, he's Cuban, first of all. Right. Cuban, Cuban, Cuban Mariel. Okay? And he Cuban, was hold on. All... A Cuban, hold on. That, that, that's, there's a hole right there, brother. Yeah. Here it's we possible. Go. It's possible, but it's very possible unlikely. possible because they had money. You know, they were going crazy. They were doing all kinds of stuff. Right. And then um, that he was a lieutenant for... for Escobar. Escobar. Okay. Uh, that, that, okay, okay Maybe. fine. Man. We didn't know Maybe. everybody, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Possibly. Maybe. So then he supposedly, John Gotti calls him, or, or I think it was, yeah, yeah. Gotti calls him, John he Gotti. calls Johnny or something, hey, what did you do? Blah, 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 you killed blah, 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 blah. They, 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 so then he asked them to set up a meeting for him in Bogota. Okay, now here's where it gets fucking, <laughs> this is where it gets fucking funny. Go ahead. They they he meet they they set up a meeting with him in Bogota. Supposedly Gotti says, I'll pay for your trip and all that done and all this stuff. The meeting's in Bogota, right? Okay. Supposedly. Okay, he's gonna meet Pablo and those, and he meets Pablo in Bogota. Now where's Pablo stationed? That, that's where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, at first he says in the story, first he says that he he goes up to a church. He goes to Bogota. He goes and and they set up to meet at a church. And he's at a on the right side of the church, putting his fingers through um candles and shit like that. 
All right, so and hold on. So how does all of a sudden he's knocked out? How does he know where to meet Escobar? How the fuck did he know? He's, 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 I don't know, but wait a minute. Listen, this is this is the part that I'm. First of all, oh, then he goes on with his story that he was knocked out and everything, and then he he he's inside the prison where Pablo's at. What? The prison's not in Bogota. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. So he gets sent for, and then and then he's meets. He's at a. He, what, what happened to the? At who was church. at the church? First he says a church. Who's at the church? Pablo Escobar. He says that he met Pablo at the church. Supposedly, when he gets to Bogota. Okay. First of all, if Pablo's at the. If, if Pablo was at the cathedral, that's the name of the of the prison that he built for himself. Oh, that's what, okay. That wasn't okay. in Bogota. Oh, he called it. Yeah, that's right. I'm thinking he's he's talking about a real church. He's talking about the prison he, that he built. Yeah, he but he says cathedral. all the time he met Pablo at a church. Pablo was always, he was at the cathedral. That doesn't make, make sense. And then um, he tells, well, supposedly he tells Pablo the story of what happened and all that. He puts himself. Hold on a like, second, but back up because I'm so goddamn confused now. All right, so you got an Italian guy over here, and supposedly John Gotti has a direct connection to Pablo Escobar, which I know that is not fucking possible because Escobar made it clear he does not want to deal with anybody, especially high-profile figures in the From U.S. The no way. He had his own men over here, and that was that. He didn't need Gotti. He didn't need fucking the chin. He didn't need any of these fucking people, and he really right. didn't because why have involvement with them? It just brings more heat. He had enough heat as it was. So we both know that there was no direct connection between oh. Escobar and Gotti. Now, if Escobar wanted to get to Gotti, he could have done that in a second. The other way around, not possible. No fucking no. way. How did, thing. how did yeah. he know? what? If I'm going to go meet Escobar, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get off a plane. Someone's going to grab me. They're going to put a fucking bag over my head. And I'm going to take off for a while. And I'm going to end up somewhere. And that's where it's going to be. I'll never couple days. know. A couple days. A couple so days, you know, right? Exactly. You won't go. You are not, you're not going to be, you're not going to see him the same day. You're going to be going from point point A, point B, all the way A through Z for a couple of days right. before you finally even maybe get to see him five minutes. If you were going to, and it's, the second thing is that Pablo wouldn't call, send for someone over a fucking fight. Oh, a fucking bar fight? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. No, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And then go ahead, keep going. That's so much bullshit there. Franchise, Fr Francis is fucking dead, dead right on this one. This guy's Listen, full of shit. Pablo, Pablo had he was fighting with the government. Right. Right. He was uh fighting extradition. Right? Right. He had the Pepe's next after him. You know what I'm saying? And he's locked up in his own jail. What you know. How the fuck do you think he's going to be worried about a fucking bar fight? You know what I mean? Over somebody, a Cuban guy that he, you know, doesn't mean, you know how many people he's got? You know what yeah. I'm saying? To, that make money for him? Hey, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to meet, you're going to, you're going to have someone from the States, the country that he's trying to stay away from, to come meet and with meet somebody from them. Like, like. Doesn't know who the fuck right. this guy is, right? And yeah, and then this guy, this guy says that that he explained to him the whole situation. Told him, "You have a daughter. I have a daughter. What would you do if you know the, your daughter gets sliced by a guy?" Blah blah blah. Do you? Under and then, then Pablo said, "I understand you." You know what I'm saying? And then he goes, "Okay, listen. Don't worry. Go to sleep." Blah blah blah. Comes back the next day. Hey, why didn't you tell me you were the guy from The Godfather? But I, I want to be in the ending. <laughs> then they started acting out. <laughs> the fuck? Are you kidding the me? The Godfather scene. I'm like, this guy oh, is Jesus. fucking. I don't know what the fuck is he thinking. You he's know? a he. Maybe he's a. It's a good story. He could he could write a hell of a screenplay with that one. But what horseshit? And here's the here's the thing. If you get if you go see Pablo for something like that, your ass is dead. Exactly. You're dead. Exactly. He'll, let, he'll let you explain yourself, but you're gonna get fucking. What do they call it? Plata or what's the other one? Plata or, or what's it? Oh, pla, pla, plata or plomo. <laughs> plata or plomo, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not, and you know, and, and that he that he was putting his fingers through the candles. I don't know if you ever have you've ever done it. 
I, I, in Colombia, a lot of us do it. You know, you just play with the candle. It doesn't burn you. No, right, right, right. You just, right. Put, your, you just put your fingers through it. He says that that's what these guys do to, to erase their fingerprints. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. The last thing they're worried about is fucking fingerprints, especially and, when he's... And, and, and at his stage, what it, the fuck are the fingerprints, fingerprints going to do? nothing. Fingerprints mean nothing for Escobar at all. Plus, if, if, if I mean, for whoever doesn't know, fingerprints, you can erase them and they'll, they'll stay erased for with 15 days, more or less. Because they always come back. Fingerprints are like your hair. You cut your yeah. hair, it grows right out. And back Everybody then, I remember that. they were doing laser, not fire. Yeah, laser, but that's still, it, it yeah. comes back. Yeah. It comes back. That's just, what they started doing at one time was they were cutting out they were cutting out their tips and yep. they reversed it, put it backwards. Or put a piece of your ass on your finger. That's what they were doing. Right. But all that, everybody, everybody here knows that. that, that That's you know. horse shit. Well, <laughs> Michael Francis called that one. That guy's a fucking, what's this fucking guy's name? This is John, 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 Russo? Russo. Uh, Gianni Russo. Gianni Russo, you're full of shit. And uh, <laughs> if you really went to Colombia on those days, Show us your uh, fucking pass. Show us your fucking passport stamp. Yeah, man, that's not that's that. None of that. None of that sounds right. None yeah. of that at all. No. At all. You know, and Gotti wanted to pay for his for his um his trip and all that. Mm. Yeah, know. Gotti said, if you got the balls to go, I'll pay for your ticket. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't think Gotti and and, and Pablo. No. Never. never. There was no. There was no relationship there. None. Zero. There was no relationship there no, at plus, all. And plus, plus the bosses, especially the bosses, they don't want nothing, supposedly want nothing to do with drugs, right? right? Now, they know it was done at the bottom level. They knew it, and there was a lot of money made from it. Right. But the bosses were always against drugs. It was at least on paper they were supposed to be. Do you think he's got a direct connection to fucking Pablo? Are you kidding me? Oh. You want? I mean, come on. Do you think Gotti would want that type of heat? He wouldn't want that. I mean, Gotti had a lot of heat, right? Yeah. And so did Pablo. There's no reason for them to talk to each other. It's exactly. not like Pablo needed permission from Gotti to work on in his in his town. They, no. they would talk. They would talk to each other and say and say, um, "Hey, hey I, I'm beating you. I'm, I'm hotter than you this week. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Got you, I got your ass. I put a bomb. I'm hotter I, this week. <laughs> I got more I mean? money than you. I mean, fucking Pablo had more money than all five bosses put together. All of them. So, all of them, man. It's just like I don't know, man. I that's don't some know. bullshit. All right, my motherfucker. Hey, you're looking good in that white. So I had to put some color on today, huh? I I like some white. Like some white, huh? (laughs) Always like white. Oh, shit. It does well for me. (laughs) Recording. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can stop this motherfucker this time. And I'll catch you on the next one. All right, brother. All right, Bubba. Be good. soon.